Hi friends, welcome to Abhi's Amazing World. Let's study the second part of Chapter 7, Time Goes On. Calendar Magic. Here is the calendar for the month of February 2019. See here it's a calendar given of the, for the month of February 2019. Let us mark a square on the calendar and see some magic. See, there is a square which is almost at the middle of the month. And they have colored it in yellow color. Which is the number in the center of the square? In the center of the square, which is a number? Yes, 13. Join three numbers by drawing a line. The line must pass through the number at the center. See, in the picture it had shown that they had drawn a line passing through all the three numbers and passing through the center. That is passing through 13. How many such lines can be drawn? We can draw 4 such lines. Add 3 numbers on each of these lines. What do you notice? See on these lines numbers we are adding each other. 5 plus 13 plus 21 equals 39. 6 plus 13 plus 20 equals 39. 19 plus 13 plus 7 equals 39. 12 plus 13 plus 14 equals 39 means if we are adding in all these three numbers we are getting the same sum as 39. Now look at the calendar of 2020. Also look for the present month and draw any similar square in your notebook. Does the magic work for this? We can get this magic with every month. In whichever month we are doing there will be a magic box in which the sum of the three numbers in the magic square will be equal. Is this magic possible on a 10 into 10 number chart? Go to the chapter fun with numbers and check. 10 into 10 number chart means a chart in which all columns are filled. Yes, this magic is possible in such a chart. More magic. March 2020. I can add five numbers in the box in a moment oh that will take some time see one boy is telling that he can add any five numbers see that one box 3 10 17 24 and 31 these all numbers were kept in a small box and that boy was telling yes i can i can add these five numbers very fastly within a moment i can do it next boy was telling oh that will take some time for him it will take some time to count and add it the total is 85 that's right how did you do that simple just multiply the middle number by 5 see the boy had done the sum very fastly he told that he got 85 then another boy was asking how come you can say this fastly so he told it's just simple just multiply the middle number by 5 let's check it here in this box the middle number is 17 17 into 5 equals 85 so fastly we can get it it's a super trick see if this magic works for other lines which have five numbers let's try whether this trick will be working for the other numbers which have five numbers in a row let's take this box and we'll add first 2 plus 9 plus 16 plus 23 plus 30 equals 80 and the middle number here is 16 we will try this trick here 16 into 5 is equal to 80 so instead of adding all these numbers we can just take the middle number and multiply it with 5 to get the answer what about 5 numbers on a slanting line try this trick with your family and friends so we can do one more along a slanting line 5 numbers up there we will add it and we'll find whether its middle number multiplied by 5 is same as the total sum let's do it this is a slanting box with 5 numbers let's add all the numbers 5 plus 11 plus 17 plus 23 plus 29 equals 85 and here the middle number is 17 17 into 5 is equal to 85 so both are same did you enjoy this trick? Complete the calendar for August 2020. Here a calendar is given. It's for August 2020. Some numbers are given. We have to fill the rest numbers and make it a full calendar. Let's do it. 
here's the calendar color all sundays in red this is sunday we have to color it all in red on which day this month end this month ends on monday 31st of the month is monday so this month ends on monday write the number of days in this month in this month there are 31 days what day is it on 13th august 13th august is a thursday what is the date on the second saturday first saturday is 1 and second saturday is 8th date on second saturday is 8th is 21st day sunday 21st no 21st is a friday it's not a sunday 21st is a sunday no what is the day on 29th what will be the date on the same day next week 29th is a saturday what will be the date on the same day next week what will be the date on next saturday means after one week saturday will come right on that saturday what will be the date how we will find it out it's given 29th is a saturday and we have to find what date will be on the next saturday how we will find after 29 it is 30 31 after 31 what will come next month 1 2 3 4 and again saturday means it is 5 so what is the date on the next saturday it will be 5th how many thursdays are there in this month in this month there are four thursdays find out which months on the calendar 2020 have five sundays this is a homework you have to take the calendar for 2020 and you have to find which month have five sundays and is there any other day in any month which have comes five times this also you have to check in it can there be six sundays in a month why no there can't be six sundays in a month because there will be four to five weeks in a month the true story of pedki devi see in the picture is pedki devi we are going to hear her story my timeline my name is pedki devi i live in a village in dhanbad district jharkhand she lives in a village named dhanbad it's in jharkhand i never got a chance to go to school i remember that when i was five years old i broke my foot i had climbed a tree to eat the jamun fruit but the branch broke and i fell down my foot still hurts in winter she never got a chance to go to school when she was around five years old she had broken her foot how she had tried to climb a tree to eat the jamun fruit and the branch broke and she fell down and her foot still it hurts in winter while grazing our gods we often got busy in playing she told that she never got a chance to go to school then what she was doing uh, she was grazing goats she was giving food to goats and she will take them to the hilly areas and let them free to have the food once at the age of 10 years i got a big scolding i had lost one god one day she got a severe scolding from her parents why because she had lost one god at the age of 15 years i was married oh she was married at a very young age she was married at 15 years of age my husband was much older than me her husband was a older person my first daughter was born three years after my marriage later i had three more children when i was 20 22 and 24 years old see she was a poor girl she got married at 15 years of age and she had her first child three years after her marriage that means the first child at 18 years of age and then she had three more children at 20 22 and 24 years at that time she had three more children now total she have four children time passed very fast then i was busy with my farm housework and looking after my animals from thereafter she was 
time went so fast because she was very busy with her farm her home housework and looking after the animals but the age of 35 years my world came to a stop my husband fell ill and died but when she was 35 years of age there was a drastic change in her life what happened her husband fell ill and she and he died his brothers tried to take away our farm they beat me badly and said i was a witch after his death his brothers tried to take away their farm and they had beaten this pedki devi so badly and said that she was a witch some good people saved me but some there are some good hearted people who had saved her we fought a case against those who beat me up and they had filed a case against those who had beaten her at the age of 40 years i saw a police station for the first time when she was 40 years of age she was seeing a police station that's all for this case and that was first in her life when i was 45 i learned to read and write two years later i got my eldest daughter married see when i was 45 when she was 45 years old she learned to read and write Two years later, I got my eldest daughter married. After two years, she had made her daughter's marriage, first daughter's marriage. Now I am fifty years old. I enjoy playing with my grandchild. Two of my children are studying in school. Now Pitki is fifty years old, and she is enjoying her life by playing with her grandchild. And her other two children were studying in school. what do you feel after hearing this story we have to know that like this people are also around us we are very blessed to get all the opportunities and all the well, wellness and goodness of life thank god for that some things that happened in our life are given below mark these on her timeline for example when she was 5 years old pedki broke her foot a is marked at 5 on the timeline this is a lifeline see in that some numbers are written 5 10 20 30 40 50 50. these are the ages at which some, some events happened on pedki's life for example first one is given a broke her foot she broke her foot at 5 years so above 5 we have written a so next b lost one got at what age she lost one got we know that at 10 years of age she lost one god so about 10 we will write b got married c c she got married at 15 years of age here only 10 and 20 is given so where we will write yeah we can keep a line in between 10 and 20 and keep write there 15 and above that we can write c d had her fourth child it's given she had their fourth child at the age of 24 years first so police station e is first so police station at the age of 40 f learn to read and write at the age of 45 eldest daughter got married it was given that after 2 years of studying reading and writing her eldest daughter got married so 45 plus 2 47 age her elder daughter got married mark on the timeline when she was born we can mark it as like this on the ba- blank box draw a picture of pedki as a newborn baby here you can draw a picture of a small baby small pedki make your own timeline ask people around you and mark at least one thing that happened in each year of your life you have to make a lifeline li- like this for you yourself and you have to ask your parents and the nearby ones that what all incidents happened in your life and you can mark them like this in a lifeline do it one day in the life of kusum let's see what kusum does every day see this is kusum's day in my life and what she is doing in a day we can see it here write down the time for each picture in the clock the time is given we have to write the time on the box given there for some pictures the time is already written and you must draw the hands on the clock in others you have to write the time shown by the clock 
in the pictures in some pictures we can see the clock in which time is given we have to just write the time there and in some pictures time is already given we have to show that on the clock kusum gets up early in the morning what's the time in the clock yes at 6 o'clock she brings water from the well well at 6:30 in the morning we can draw it on the clock she cleans her house at 7:30 she goes to school at 8 o'clock she is studying in school at 10 in the morning she comes back from school at 1 o'clock in the afternoon she takes lunch with her brother and grandmother at 2 o'clock in the afternoon she plays with her friends 5:30 in the evening she listens to a story from her grandmother before she sleeps at 9 o'clock at night now prepare a chart showing your own daily routine time of the day in words you have to write on clock you have to show and what do you do at this time you will get up at what time if it is 6 o'clock you have to write at 6 o'clock and you have to show it in the clock and you have to write there one example is given you have to do your yourself i get up early in the morning at 6 in the morning i take bath at 7 o'clock in the morning i have breakfast at 7:30 in the morning i go to school at 8 o'clock in the morning i come back from school at 2 o'clock in the afternoon I play with my friends at 5 o'clock in the evening. I watch TV at 8 o'clock in the night. With this we finish this chapter. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.